Oh, my hair is out of control today. Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today is a very, very requested video and I finally got my ish together to film it and it is my top 10 ish. I think there's 10. Who knows by the end of this video? It may be 11, it may be 9. I don't know. Can't tell you. We'll see. Anyways, I digress. My top 10 fa face blah! My top 10 all-time favorite face masks and sheet masks. I spent about a month trying to figure out what I would feel comfortable recommending to you guys because there are a ton of face masks and a ton of sheet masks out there for your disposal. So I wanted to recommend only the very best, only my very best, I should say. And I think I got a good amount in. Yeah, let's do this. Top 10 sheet masks by moi let's go let's start with mint skin i don't know what it is down in australia but they have the cutest beauty products ever it's just very sleek very i guess sophisticated in a way but uh mint skin is from australia they are cruelty free they are non-toxic and they source their ingredients locally which i think is really important and really cool the ones that i use all the time and swear by are the mud hydrating clay mask the mud rosa hydrating clay mask and the mud black detoxifying charcoal mask let's talk about this one first please the mud mask combines activated charcoal with clay to basically purify the crap out of your skin it gets rid of blackheads it gets rid of inflammation and the cool thing about this is that it doesn't leave your skin dry. Sometimes I would use detoxify masks um, or peels and my skin would just feel dry. This does not leave your skin feeling dry. I can get two uses out of this though. Saves me money and precious product. I love you so much. Similarly, the Mud Mask Rosa brightens, hydrates, and restores. Formulated with a kakadu plum, I believe it's pronounced, which is uh, local to Sydney, I guess. It is an ingredient that boasts the highest concentration of natural vitamin C. So it supports natural collagen creation, improves skin elasticity, which is really important for me. And it also has um, macadamia nut oil, which is incredibly hydrating and perfect for fine lines and wrinkles. What I do when I have major um, acne issues is I use this first and then this mask secondly we're gonna talk about this mask a little later well you know what we'll just talk about it now this sheet mask is from bad skin it is the quick repairing SOS super mask and honestly I don't really know much about it I tried to look online and it's all in Korean it's a sheet mask as I said and for some reason the combination of this sheet mask and this mud mask has really helped my skin but i got this in one of my subscription sheet mask boxes and i just really like it like it so much i got another one we is on a roll people we is on a roll okay let's talk about glam glow now i actually don't really like glam glow for me their products are a little bit too harsh but this thirsty mud hydrating treatment is something i do love it is not drying it smells bomb and it is incredibly hydrating. It's perfect for sensitive skin. I actually wouldn't recommend Glam Glow for people with sensitive skin because it is really irritating or it is for me, but this is a go. So this hydrates, moisturize, it calms your skin, and then you can use it two ways. If you wanna apply it during the day, just apply this onto dry skin, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, pat it off with I guess a tissue of some sort and then you can either wash it off or you can just leave that kind of essence sense and just tap it into your skin to let it soak in or if you want to use it at night you can kind of use it as a sleep mask okay now if you want to get fancy and I know sometimes you do you got to go with the shank pre gold premium molding mask this is one of those rubber masks that I'm sure you've seen, which is basically you, it starts off as a gel, and then when you apply it and it dries, which it actually really doesn't dry, it turns into like this rubbery kind of texture and you can just peel it off. I would love to show you 
but I'm not gonna waste this because it is just too precious. But basically the rubbery consistency that it molds into is incredibly hydrating and just seals in all that hydration into your skin. So they have three different types, a black mask, a silver mask, and this gold mask. I like the gold mask. It's age defying, firming, and nourishing, which you know I'm all about. But inside the box uh, comes a mixer, comes a bowl, and then the products, which is this gold gel, and then this is the collagen powder. And you mix them in, mixy, 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 and then apply it. When you remove the rubber mask, it is, your skin just feels so hydrated. Not only does your skin feel hydrated, but when you remove the rubber and you feel the back of the rubber, it is itself hydrated. It is like the craziest thing. $20 for a mask. I mean, it's a one use kind of thing. You can't reuse these masks, but if you have a special occasion or if you just got money to spend, good for you, girl. I'd recommend this. Okay, now we are going to talk about Coco Kind. Coco Kind as a brand is chemical free, preservative free, cruelty free, it's vegan, it's water free. Um, as you can tell, this is like legit a powder. The ingredients that they use are food grade, so basically that allows the ingredients to just really work on your skin and penetrate your skin. Right, so this is the Coco Kind Organic Chlorophyll Mask. I actually have a bunch of their products, um, but this is my favorite by far. So let's talk about chlorophyll real fast. Chlorophyll to plants is basically like blood to humans. Chlorophyll has great uh, health and healing properties for us whether applied topically or ingested. When applied topically, it is incredibly purifying. It relieves breakouts and brings out this just natural, beautiful glow. So this is a powder. Add a little bit of water at a time to make it a paste. And not only can you add water, but if you wanna be super fancy, you can add serums, you can add oils or coconut oil, whatever you want. Once you wash it off, you're good to go. Your, your skin tone won't be green, but I, I really, really dig this product. Pixie. Now we're moving on to Pixie. You guys know I love Pixie. I have a ton of their products. It's crazy. But this oxygen mask, I really like. This is an oxygen treatment that revives dull skin. So the cool thing about this is that it goes on as a gel and then it foams in which you may feel like a tingling sensation, but that's totally normal. So basically this product just feeds your skin oxygen to give it like a beautiful glow and radiance so that's what that foaming is you know it's this product going here's oxygen into your skin go 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 okay so now it is story time the next mask on my list is this who's who recovery tea sheet mask i went to korea my second to the last day i went to the who's who like clinic I saw this on Beauty Breakdowns on Instagram and when she went to the Who's Who clinic and then she basically got a test on her skin um, and that's to tell you what age your skin is and I was really interested in learning more about my skin and what I can improve and what actually is, is the true age of my skin. So I uh, made an appointment there and let me tell you, it was quite depressing. The cool thing about it is that Who's Who has a... Um, machine. It's like this 3D machine that takes a picture of your skin, but takes a deep, deep, deep down picture of your skin to tell you um, basically what you need to work on. <laughs> you know, I'm all about sun protection now, but growing up, high school and college, living in Hawaii, that sun damage is uh, coming to kick my ass. Ten years later. Uh, you're killing me, guys. I'm like die. That's right, I'm 34. When I found out, I was actually really upset because I do take really, really good care of my skin, but what happened 10 years ago, I can't change that. So now that I know what I need to work on, which is hyperpigmentation and I guess evening of the skin tone, I can um, refigure out, reconfigure my skincare routine, which is what I have been doing. So next time I go to Korea, I am definitely gonna go back to see if my skin has gotten better. And everyone there was just so, so nice. So if you go to Korea, you have to, have to, have to stop by the Who's Who clinic. I told my mom about it because she goes to 
goes to Korea quite often. It may be a huge reality check, but for me, it's better to know, like really, really know what is underneath your skin so you can work on it before it becomes a bigger problem. Basically, this is the mask that I got after my whole experience there, and it is the Who's Who Recovery Tea sheet mask and it's designed to form a moisture supporting layer on dry skin so it helps to retain moisture on your skin for longer and then um, at, acts as a barrier to external elements. This has natural bamboo in it which is really good for sensitive skin as it calms the skin down without irritating it. It also strengthens the skin barrier and brightens and firms the skin. For me this feels really really luxurious every time I wear it. Um, honestly like the whole my whole experience at the who's who clinic was just so amazing um and then this definitely dis didn't disappoint let's talk about peach and lily i've been a fan of peach and lily for years and they finally came out with their own set of sheet masks which are uh, cruelty free and just in Incredible. They have three sheet masks, but the ones I use the most are the Drench and Nourish sheet mask and the Lift and Plump sheet mask. The sheet mask itself is incredibly luxurious. It's very breathable, it's very lightweight, and it just fits on every corner of your skin. It has no synthetic fragrances, alcohol, parabens, sulfurets, none of the bad stuff. So what soaks into your skin is just all that good ingredients. And for me, like for sheet masks, you can tell a poor quality sheet mask because the sheet itself is like rough and it doesn't stay on your skin. So the sheet mask in this guy is like, you, you can't beat it. And finally, we're coming down to our last two. Let's talk about Ahava. So Ahava is a really special brand because it utilizes um, water from the Dead Sea. How dope is that? The Dead Sea is basically like an all natural spa and has a variety of minerals that cannot be found anywhere else just because of where it's located. So, you know, I mean, if you're getting water from a place that actually helps people heal, then you know this is gonna be good-ish, you know what I'm saying? So let's talk about the Facial Renewal Peel. This is the only peel on this list, and it's actually not technically a peel because it's more nourishing than it is harsh. The Facial Renewal Peel promotes natural cell renewal, uh, revealing a softer, more radiant complexion. Uh, what's cool is that the Dead Sea Water stabilizes and delivers pure vitamin C to smooth the skin surface and even out skin tone. It is more of a consistency of honey than it is a peel and it'll just, once you're done with it, it'll leave your skin feeling so, so, so soft. And then finally, the last mask on our list is the Ahava Mineral Radiance Instant Detox Mud Mask. So this is actually just a two minute hydrating mask that detoxes and refreshes your skin to give you a more luminous look. What I love about this, particularly, which is why it's on this, li this list, is you can use it as a spot treatment. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is not going to like clear up your skin, but what it will do is if you have a pimple, it'll remove the redness from that pimple, which to me is basically the worst part of having a pimple is that it's red, so you have to cover it up with foundation and concealer and then it gets flaky and then it's just it's just a whole mess so use this instead all right everyone so those are my favorite all-time favorite top 10 masks that i own have use personally all the time and that i would recommend to you guys because you are my friends and i would never steer you wrong when it comes to skin stuff, okay? Um, if you have a favorite, please let us know in the description box. I'm so interested um, to learn more about more beauty products, so give us recommendations. Again, all the links to the products are going to be in the description box. Um, if you want to go to the Korean Who's Who Clinic, which again, cannot emphasize enough that you have to, that information is also going to be in the description box. And, that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was informative and i hope you check out some of these products like share and subscribe and i will see you all later thanks for watching bye